Well, this past weekend in our nation's capital, a unique two-day outdoor event took place called Rock the River, Ottawa. It was the culmination of a year-long initiative involving the Billy Graham Association and 178 churches in the Ottawa Gatineau region. And joining us is one of our Crossroads production team members who was there, just got back, Amy Demeray. Amy, thanks for sitting in with us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so you spent the weekend with how many, 15,000 young people? 15,000 young people. Well, there was uh, young and old. We kind of had all ages, but a lot of young people, especially on the Saturday with some of the more hip-hop rock bands that were on. So the event started at 4 p.m. in the afternoon yeah, and went it, till... It started about 4 and it went till 9 both Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, it was a lot of music mm -hmm. and it was a lot of uh, a message as well yes. <laughs> spoken. What, what, what was kind of uh, the format? Uh, well, the, again, there was a lot of music. There's a lot of bands, hip-hop, rock, worship. We had... Um, here you can see some of the people. <clears throat> That's Thousand Foot Crutch, Canadian rock band. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I appreciate that you said, Amy, is between every single song, as the different groups came up, they each delivered the gospel message. It wasn't just about showcasing their music. They really wanted to speak into the hearts and lives of the young people there. Yes, almost every band that went up uh, basically gave the gospel message along with Franklin Graham and Will Graham in between. But uh, one hip hop band that was there was called Flame and uh, this is a little clip of their performance. All right. Now, how many people love Jesus? Make some noise out there, y'all. If you know he's been good to you, he saved you from yourself. He saved you from living for the things that would destroy your life. He saved you so that you can enjoy him and eternal life and have life more abundantly. If that's you, make some noise for Jesus out here, y'all. <laughs> they made some noise for Jesus out there. Yeah, right along the Ottawa River. of them. <laughs> yeah, that the first day there was nine thousand people there, and uh, we heard by the end of the night a few hundred people had accepted Christ that night, mm. made a decision for Jesus. Wow, because it was all of, it, like we said, it was more than just a music extravaganza. It really was speaking words of hope and life into mm -hmm. the lives of precious people who just need it. And you mentioned that on the Sunday. The crowds weren't quite as big as the Saturday for a very good reason. For a very good reason. Um, it was raining all day Sunday. Torrential downpours, yes. not just a little sprinkle. So much that I went out and bought a pair of rubber boots before I had it back because <laughs> I was working backstage and it was really muddy in the grass. But uh, yeah, raining all day and we still had almost 6,000 people turn out, standing in umbrellas. Oh, wow. um, yeah, and... You, you had a clip as well? Yeah, Michael W. Smith uh, did some worship at the end of the night, and then this is a clip of the crowd right. singing in the rain. In the rain. In the rain. <laughs> Now, Amy, you took that with your iPhone backstage, yes. <laughs> seeing the rain coming down. I was actually working with the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, helping do some talent wrangling for their webcast, which they had an additional 15,000 people watching. So what's a webcast? Like, what would that be for someone at home? A webcast would basically be a live broadcast of the event, um, only it's on the web. And there was uh, seven people from 70 different countries tuning in this really? weekend watching. At the exact same time that it was happening yep. in Ottawa. It was live. So, so this talent wrangling is a, a term people might say, well, what's a, you were getting some interviews backstage. Yeah, I had to make sure that the, the talent was where we needed them to be for the interviews right. in between the music. So yeah, I got to meet a lot of really cool people. All right. And of course, CTS was a sponsor of the entire event. And you mentioned that Franklin Graham spoke. Um, yep. And Will Graham, one of the grandsons of yep, Billy Graham. They were both there. And gave a clear gospel message. I yep. love it. Yeah. Now, was there a, another clip of one of the backstage Yes, interviews? we talked to one of the bands, um, the Afters. So the lead okay. singer, Josh, here talks about the power of social media in an event like this. Yeah. Right. And I love that we can, we can interact with our fans. We can hear their stories almost instantly. And they can be a part of events like this. You know, like all day long, we're tweeting about the show and telling what it's like to be here in Ottawa. And then people are commenting on it. It, it just makes the 
the, 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 the dialogue back and forth with fans is so much, so much better. Hmm. Now, Franklin Graham had everyone hold up a, their cell phone. Why, for, for, why did he about? do that? Yeah, yeah he invited, uh, invited anyone who wanted to make a decision for Christ to pull out their cell phone, light it up, and then hold it up in the air to say that this was a decision that they were going to make. Wow. And the social media is really neat because with 15,000 people there, most of those people have a couple hundred friends on Facebook. So they can share on Facebook that there's a live webcast going on. The bands can share with their thousands of fans. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, it just goes viral. And then lots of people are coming to meet God. And so those way. people that made a decision to follow Jesus when they held up their cell phone, there was then follow up with them so that they're not walking this alone. They're actually understanding with the next step and the next step. Yeah, like Ron said earlier, 178 churches uh, were trained and partnered to bring this event and there was, you know, counseling training and mm -hmm. we even heard that Sunday morning there were already people showing up in churches who said, you know, I made a decision for Christ last night. And wow. And they're already getting connected in the local It's church. a new day, isn't it? This is the way the yeah. next generation yeah. is spreading the gospel. Well, in fact, we are very much uh, involved here yes. at Crossroads in, in launching, Lord willing, even this month, yes. by the end of October, uh, an online uh, series of, of network channels that, mm. that will uh, be called Crossroads TV. That uh, you were actually there getting some content You're uh, and doing some interviews that. and so on for that. And that's part of what you're doing. Great. Yeah, I mean, I was working with like, talent wrangling, but uh, our CTS crew was there getting some interviews with the band. So. Yeah. Well, Amy, thank you for being with us, one yeah. of our producers here at Crossroads. We love <laughs>